Welcome everyone to Young at Heart, session number 166. I'm Father James DeLucio with the Paulist Fathers, ready, willing, and able to offer you nursery rhymes, stories, songs, poems, Mother Goose, Aesop's fables, Lewis Carroll, limericks, larks, and such, and other things to keep us all young at heart. Continuing on our adventure with African American folktales, today's story is entitled Know Your Relatives, or else you'll be mistaken for a slave. It is true. A man and his wife went to settle in the place called Kampala. Kampala today is the capital and largest city in Uganda. They had a child and a slave child. The man died, but his senior brother was living in Wa. The man always used to say, Hi, always try to know the difference between your child, your child, and the slave boy. Yeah. After his death, his wife sent word to his senior brother in Wa saying that her son and the slave boy were coming. The mother bathed the child. She dressed him in shorts, a smock, and a hat. And then she gave the slave boy water in a gourd to carry. While they were walking, the son sighed. Ooh, ooh. The slave asked, what? The boy said he was thirsty. The slave boy said, ooh, ooh. if you give me your smock, I will give you water to drink. If you don't, then you won't get any water. Well, the boy took off his smock and gave it to the slave boy who put it on and gave him the water. They walked until they reached Nodzelibu, the valley. The boy said, Ah, I am thirsty. The slave said, Ah, give me your shorts, and I will also give you water. When he got the shorts, the slave boy put them on, and he gave the boy water to drink. They continued walking until they reached Dr. Farr's house in Wa. The boy again said, Eh, hey, ho. Oh. The slave asked, What? The boy said, I am thirsty. The slave said, Uh huh. Take off your hat for me to wear or else I won't give you the water to drink. The boy gave him the hat and got the water. As soon as the boy finished with the water, the slave told him, Um, you hold the gourd. Yeah. When they entered the house of the father's relative, the child's uncle was sitting down he told the slave to come and sit by his side, but he pushed away his own brother's son. Ha! They farmed maize there, and partridges would come and peck at the seeds. The following morning, the son was given cold food and a piece of firewood. He put them on his shoulder and he went out to the farm. As soon as he entered the farm, he said, Ha! to scare away all the par partridges. Ha! Ha! he sang. Don't eat these things, don't! The day my mother died, ya! They turned their real son into a slave, ya! But they made their slave their child. Yeah! They turned him into their son. My father, whoa! The day he died, whoa! The elephant died. He made a fire 
and then he climbed up to the top of the shed. Then he took this thing and knocked on it. Ha! Ha! Don't eat these things. Don't eat. The day my mother died. Yeah! They turned their son into a slave. Yeah! But they made the slave their child. Yeah! They turned him into their son. My father, whoa! The day he died, whoa! The elephant died. He prepared his food and sat down until the evening, and then he returned home. The following day, he was beaten to get up, and he went again to the farm. He was again given cold food, firewood, and told to go. When he got to the farm, he opened his mouth. Ha! Ha! Don't eat these things. Don't eat. The day my mother died. Yeah! They turned their real son into a slave. Yeah! They turned the slave into their son. My father, whoa! The day he died, woo! The elephant died. Then after making the fire, he opened his mouth. Ha! Ha! Don't eat these things. Don't eat. The day my mother died. Yeah! They turned their real son into a slave. Yeah! But they made the slave their child. Yeah! They turned him into their son. My father, whoa! The day he died, woo! The elephant died. Hi! An old woman had gone by picking salong. Salong are vegetables. And also, she was picking she nut seeds. When she stopped, she heard the boy singing. And then she went and she told the uncle and his senior brother, she said, to prove that what I have told you is true, you should wake the boy up early tomorrow morning and then one of you should follow him and hide. The next day, yeah, they woke up the boy, but only after his uncle had already gone to the farm. As soon as the boy got to the farm, he started his song. Come now, you can sing it with me. Ha! Ha! Don't eat these things. Don't eat. The day my mother died. Yeah! They turned their real son into a slave. Yeah! But they made the slave their child. Yeah! They turned him into, they turned the slave into their son. My father, whoa, the day he died, whoo, the elephant died. He went and made his fire. Ha, ha, don't eat these, this food, don't eat. The day my mother died, yeah. They turned their real son into a slave, yeah. But they made the slave their child, yeah! My father, woo! My father died, woo! The elephant died. A. The senior brother carried the boy home and rushed back into their hut. He brought out the slave and he beat him up then and there threw him on the ground and told him to go to the farm. And they took off all his clothes. Because of this, if you have any relatives here or there or somewhere, try to get to know them. Otherwise, one day you will be taken for a slave. Ha! I have finished my story. It is finished. Get to
to know your relatives. Why not? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's story. Have a great afternoon. And I look forward to sharing more nursery rhyme stories, poems, songs, Mother Goose, Aesop's fables, Lewis Carroll, Limericks, Larks, and such. I'm Father James Deluzio. Thanks for joining me. Have a great afternoon and a lovely evening. Bye, everyone.